Good morning, Bronx Destiny. How are you? For those of you, if it's your first time tuning in, welcome to Bronx Destiny Church of the Nazarene. We are a spirit-filled community of love where there is a place for absolutely everyone, including you, including me, and including every friend you ask to join you next week, yes? Okay. So, before we begin, we are going to start with a word of prayer, okay? So let's bow our heads. Lord, thank you so much for bringing us here for yet another week, Lord. I thank you that you never miss your appointments with us, God. I thank you that you are always available, and it's not like making a doctor's appointment. If we need to speak to you, you are ready and available, amen. Thank you so much for your son who died on the cross and gave us access to you, Lord. Lord, I just thank you that you are going to do amazing things today, that you are going to give us a wonderful word, Father God. We're coming to you with hearts of gratitude yet again, just saying thank you, thank you, thank you in advance before we even begin, Lord. So Lord, thank you for what you're about to say. Thank you for what you're about to teach us. Um, thank you for the worship that we're about to be a part of. And we pray all these things in your son's name. Amen. Speaking of worship, y'all ready? Here we go.
How much more will he clothe you? How much more? Good morning. Welcome back from worship. Weren't you excited to be a part of worship? Yes, amen. I had a good time. Now, let's get into today. So for those of you who it is your first time tuning in, my name is Auntie Woods and I am one of your uh, children's church instructors here at Bronx Bethany Church of the Nazarene. Now we have been in a series called Growth. Now before I ask you to say it with me, I'm gonna remind you because y'all seem to have forgot. I can hear you, hello, and I can see you. We're doing this together, yes? Okay, so can everybody say growth? Growth, yes, so that's what we have been talking about. Do any of you remember some of the points that we made? What was our main point from week one of growth, the series? I heard somebody say it, God is our constant. Yes, that means in our seasons of growing, God is always going to be the constant. In life in general, God is our constant. What is constant? The thing that is always there, it's not gonna change, it's not gonna move, God is always gonna be with you, amen? Amen. amen. Okay, now we went on to the second week. Can you tell me we had three points, right? Yes. Okay, we had three points of things that helped us to grow. Can anybody remind us what those three things were? Uh-huh, yes, prayer and reading the word, amen, uh-huh. I heard time, good, that was our third one. What was the second one in between those two? And our environment, good job, clap it up for yourself. You know what that means? That means y'all been listening. And you know what that means? That means the seed's been planted. Amen. Amen. <laughs> okay, okay. So, prayer and reading the word has been a constant in this lesson. And we might see it come up again today, maybe, right? Environment, we talked about, you know, the things that um, are in our environment, like the things that we watch, the things that we, um, the things that we listen to, the people who are around us, right? And we also talked about time, it takes time to grow it takes time for all these things to manifest in our lives so we talked about that on week two now we are on week three everybody put three fingers up week three of our growth series all right now can you guess what comes next mm-hmm mm-hmm okay here's some good ones i'm not gonna tell you yet I'm gonna go back into the story of my little garden that I was telling you about. Remember week one, I showed you when it first started. Last week, I showed you when it was flourishing, right? Okay, so guess what? I'm so excited to show you guys this video. My garden bared fruit. Yes, it bared fruit and I was so excited about it. Check it out, check it out, check it out. This is me picking my very first tomato off of my tomato plant. Yes, tomatoes are fruit. I know it's very vegetable-esque, but it's a fruit. I picked this tomato and it's so beautiful and it's so bright and it's so red and I grew it and it took time, but it bared fruit, right? So what happens is as we grow, it's not just about the time that's passing, it's also about the things that are exuding out of us, the things that are growing out of us, the things that we are producing. That is our fruit. The Bible says that they will know us by our fruit. So the question is, what fruit are you producing as you grow? Well, we did a series last week, not last week, last year on it. We're gonna revisit some of those fruits. Do you remember what they're called? The fruit of the spirit. Yes, good job. All right, so we're gonna head on over to our beautiful board and talk about the fruit that we are bearing as we grow. Yes, let's go. All right, so we're talking about the fruits of the spirit. Now I've listed out the fruits of the spirit. So let's talk about it. We have love, we have joy, we have peace, we have patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, 
gentleness, and self-control. Now, what does that have to do with growing? Well, we talked about, remember we're using the analogy of the garden and you know, the, the, um, the crops that grow, right? God gives them everything that they need to grow and they bear fruit or they bear produce or they bear flowers, right? Something always comes out of all of the things that they do in order to grow, right? So for us as Christians, these are the things that we are to bear, that we are to grow, that we are to show as we are growing in our faith. We are to grow and show love, right? That's one of the fruits that we bear. We grow and show love to the people around us because we are representing Christ and Christ is love, right? Exactly. Joy, we are to show joy, right? And showing joy could be being happy ourselves. Showing joy could also be helping other people be happy, you know? Because everybody we talked about is some people they have down times and they're not so joyful. And sometimes we are to use that fruit within us to help them find their joy. You get what I'm saying? Because that's the fruit that we're bearing. Peace, right? Bearing peace and helping people find peace and finding peace in our own, right? And being at peace because the Lord gives us peace, amen. Patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Now, why did I skip over these? Because I'm gonna let you remind you that we had a whole series on this. So if you would like to learn more about the rest of the fruits of the spirit go on to the youtube channel you might be on there right now and find the series on the fruits of the spirit and learn a little bit about what it looks like for these fruits to show in us for us to bear these fruits but does that make sense to you yes okay all right so like i said last week we can't just get away with just talking and chatting without looking at the word huh so let's look at the word. So we have right here, John 15, verse five. It reads, read it with me, okay? I am the vine. Okay, let's start over. Read it with me, okay? <laughs> you ready? Okay. I am the vine. Yes, you are the branches. If a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Now let's examine this text a little bit before we go, all right? I am the vine. Who's the vine? Yes, God. Hello, somebody. And God is our constant, remember? Yes. So I am the vine, you are the branches. Do I need to ask you who's the branches? Right, you are. <laughs> okay, if a man remains in me, and I in him. Now, last week we talked about the environment, we talked about the time, and we talked about, um, what was the other one we said? Reading the word, right? If a man, man can be anybody, all of us, every one, hello, remains in me. So this is us being in the right environment, receiving the word, praying, taking the time, you get what I'm saying? He will bear much fruit. So if we do all of these things, right? All the things we talked about last week and remain in God, we will bear much fruit. The fruit of the spirit that we talked about. Apart from me, you can do nothing. This part is very important. Remember, God is our constant. So just like in the, um, in the garden, watering we had to consistently water it we had to consistently put it in the right environment we had to consistently give it the time to do the things that it was going to do if we weren't consistent then that plant would start to die i gave you the example of my uh, tomato plants that started to die because i wasn't being consistent Apart from me, you can do nothing. This is important because this is a reminder that we have to be consistent and remain in Christ. That means keep reading your word, keep praying. It's not just a one-off thing. It's not just because Auntie Woods told you this is the assignment for the week, go on and read your word and invite the Lord in. This is something we're doing all the time because without God, 
We can't do anything. We can't grow. Not without God, not, the one, not without the one who provides everything that we need to grow. So we must work on being consistent and making sure that God is a part of everything we do. Because apart from him, we can do nothing. And that means we cannot bear fruit. Does that make sense? Yeah? All right. Well, I hope that you received the word today. We are almost done with our growth series, okay? We have a few more things coming down the pipeline, but we'll talk about that next week, okay? So before we go out, let us pray out. Lord, thank you so much for being our constant. Thank you so much, you know what? Because even when we're not um, being consistent and fully being in your word, you still never leave us. You still provide the opportunity for us to come back. You still give us the things that we need to grow, Lord. So Lord, I just pray that you will help us to be able to continue to be constant because apart from you, we can't do anything. We can't bear fruit. Lord, speaking of fruit, I also want to pray that you will help strengthen the fruits of the spirit that are within us. Help us to be able to bear better fruit, bigger fruit, juicier fruit, more influential fruit, good fruit, Lord, because you planted us in good soil like we talked about last week. Lord, I thank you for all the things that you are going to help us to grow through. And I thank you for giving us the ability to even grow. I pray all of these things. We pray all of these things in your son's name. Amen. All right. Well, until I see you again, continue to bear some fruit and remain in that good soil, okay? Until next time. Bye.